Hey guys, this is Mega Man NG, and we're back with more Kingdom Hearts. In our previous episode, we basically have our gummy ship enhanced to the max with the most powerful weapons imaginable. So now we're ready to tackle the last bits of the game. Yes, I still have some more to do to let you know, but I will take care of it after the game. After the game is over, I mean. Think of it as like post quest things or something like that. Anyway, we're tackling the Hades Cup, which is going to be the toughest cup I have ever taken on. So let's get started. Up first, we have three soldiers and seven shadows. Basically, it's not that bad of a fight, you need to make sure to pack on the heavy artillery. Of course, since we have lock, counter attack, and all that stuff, not to mention critical plus, the fight's not that hard. Besides, we're only starting things off. We did it! Okay, so up next we have three white knights and four power wilds. I got a feeling the fight itself is going to be a really tough challenge. So basically it's not that hard, really. All you need to do is just deal with all your enemies and that's it. It's pretty simple, right? Yeah, but it's not so simple if you keep losing MP so well. Not to mention, I don't have any items, which is going to make the fight a little harder. But that's fine. I always want the challenge. I really do. <laughs> okay, so we have a hammer legs, four pirates, and two shadows. Pretty simple fight if you know what you're doing. However, if you're not prepared, be prepared to get your ass in. A lot, because Hades Cup is going to make you grind your gears. Believe me, I already have so many failed efforts in trying to do this. The closest I ever got was Hades itself, but I screwed up and lost. I'm just trying to make that same mistake as we can. Of course, just make sure you survive and always heal when needs to. Fine. And my Aroga ran out, which is a shame, because I'm about to lose. Or not, unless I take it down. So much for that. not <laughs> bad, Okay, so we have a Power Wild and eight Pot Spiders, or Spider Pots if you put it that way. Basically, you just deal with the Spider Pots first, and then focus on the Power Wild. Besides, a lot of Pot Spiders can be a really big problem, especially when you have to deal with eight of them at once. Yeah, I removed Vortex before all this stuff because I don't have that much. I'm trying to boost my strength and defenses, so that way I can talk through this with little to no effort. Like, little to no effort? More like a lot of them. Yeah, I'm fidgeting, and I'll explain why when we reach the next round. Where is it? Damn it! Come on! Thank you! Sheesh. Next is a rare truffle, and boy, I hate dealing with these things. But I could just be cheap and do this. Yeah, that method is so cheap, I could just do it all day, but it doesn't matter, so I got what I needed to split. Mwah. Lame. We did it! Okay, so now we gotta deal with Yuffie. At least she doesn't have Leon by her side. Yeah. Yuffie isn't that hard of an opponent, but you can end up getting your butt head into it if you don't know what you're doing. Just make sure you deflect her shuriken, and basically, when you do deflect them, you'll basically pack a lot of pain. And of course, if your attack gets blocked, make sure you counterattack for out of damage. And this fight is nearly over. Why? Cause I'm done dealing. Not worth my time. This should help. And we got a Genji shield, which I will make sure I equip later. So next up, we have three bandits and four pirates. And Goofy heals me up, but I got my butt kicked by a nearby bandit. That sucks. So anyway, while I go through this, I may as well just expose with some random bandits. For starters, I, yesterday I went to the Kingdom Hearts 3 launch party, And believe me, it was the best time I ever had. Despite the fact that it was really short. I really mean it, it's really short. 
all you need to do is just go inside, get the game, take part in pictures and all that stuff. Okay, so we have a defender, three white knights, and two soldiers. Ah, that's not that bad. Anyway, as I was saying, my brother and I woke up around 4 in the morning, and we got out around 5. Basically, what we did was we just went to the train, and we arrived there by about 6 o'clock. It's not that long of a ride, you just take the D all the way to 47, and Nintendo World is just straight ahead. Which is kind of convenient, since I want to get in a big line that was really huge. When we arrived, the line wasn't that big, other than the fact that there were several hardcore fans that wanted to get their hands on the Marvel Mastery Edition. There were very limited quantities, and once they were gone, they were gone, and that really activated people. Trust me, even me. Okay, so we have a bad union, which means we have a variety of heartless to deal with. Now, the best way to tackle this situation is by starting off with a Roga. You're going to need a Roga, so that way you can deflect the Fat Bandit's flame attack. And getting ready to finish this off. Now, nah, who am I kidding? It's already taken down. Yeah, throughout the past few days, I haven't done much video-wise. Basically, that's because I get too a bit over set. But the good news is, I'm now part of a collaboration. A collaborative project with myself and three other users that will be streaming games. I will be streaming eventually, so stay tuned. That's the power of the Keyblade! Looks like the fields change, and we have ourselves our first boss, Behemoth. Last I checked, we dealt with it back at Hollow Bastion. Fortunately, he's not that hard. He's still deadly due to the fact that he has a variety of attacks that can take him down. But the whole point of the strategy is basically just try to survive. Provided you can stay on him, that is. Yeah, I use Ars Arcanum a lot since it's one of the only attacks that can deal out real damage. But the only thing you should worry is his other attacks. Especially when he basically gathers up lightning and if you're not careful, you're blasted. That's basically how it works. He's basically not that hard, and here we go, he's getting ready for his ultimate attack. Fortunately, someone broke the focus and caused him to laugh, which is good. At least with a rogue I can pack extra damage, so I will be encountering more of these later on as we reach the last few levels of the game. The only last level there is is the end of the world, and in the end of the world, that's where you'll be put to the ultimate test, especially when you're up against a lot of tougher bosses. I can't spoil anything because that wouldn't be right, but all I will say is that it's going to push my skill to the limit. And I always want to be pushed to the limit. Believe me. And it looks like the behemoth's getting ready to use another attack. Fortunately, I'm just waiting. Ah, he moved me off. God damn. Alright, that's it. Now you're gonna get it. Yeah, Goofy's attacking majorly on the MP gift, which is really helpful for him since it can help me power up, like, how do I put this? Use all my other attacks like Ars Arcanum, Ragnarok, Strike Raid, etc. Although I got them all, since that's a good thing. Yeah, and I used Sonic Blade, which was really stupid of me. Anyway, gotta go all the way back on the other side. And Goofy's getting his butt kicked. Yeah, this Behemoth Stomp does heavy damage. Close. My only advice to you is to stay as far away from it as possible. Really mean that, because you don't want to lose at this point in the game. Especially since you have to go against like 49 other opponents to do it. Well, how do I put this in the right words? Once I get this taken care of, then I'll start my random banter skit. Yeah, because I have a hard time doing commentaries. I don't have that much experience with them. Mostly because I always do my gameplay with my mouth shut. I don't need to express myself with my words. I let my actions speak. And my actions do everything for me. Why do you think I've been doing so well for five years? That is until YouTube decided to send me to hell by doing all this bullshit that makes it harder for me to get views. Yeah, I have a Facebook page, I have a Twitter, but I'm not getting that much coverage or anything. No, none of my, like, how I put this, none of my friends even know I have it. And most of the old friends I have, they're already gone. They don't have YouTube accounts anymore. Most of my old friends are long gone. I don't know whatever happened to them, but it makes me feel pretty sad that most of the friends I had are gone. In its place, I have new friends I made, but there are some that I really don't know. 
yeah, I know I want to get to know some of the more popular YouTubers because, as you know, I'm a nice guy and I always like doing the right thing. Believe me, I know. It's just, yeah, it's kind of hard. That's the power of the Keyblade! And it looks like Blizzard has been upgraded to Blizzaga. That's pretty nice. And look at that, we're back to daytime again. It's gonna shift back and forth. Well, not really, since it's gonna get harder along the way. Okay, so we have to deal with Red Nocturnes and a Surge Ghost. Actually, the Red Nocturnes are actually pretty easy. The only problem is that I forgot to set Blizzara as a shortcut, or Blizzaga if you put it that way. That would've really swept these guys down, no problem. And of course, I get more MP things, which is MP. Very reliable in my humble opinion. Very reliable. So I have a feeling it's going to get a lot tougher along the way. Wait, is it everything? Yeah, that's everything. Guess all I'm taking down. Oh well. Okay, so we have blue rhapsodies and gargoyles. That's kind of fitting. Fire last match, ice this match. Either way, the outcome's going to be the same. You just take down the blue rhapsodies first, since they are the bigger threat since they'll launch blizzards all over the place. Then once that's done, focus your attacks on the gargoyles, and they'll be taken down with little or no effort. More like little effort, because you can, if you're so high leveled or over leveled in some cases, it's actually pretty easy if you know what you're doing. Anyway, one more, and we are done. So much for that. Yeah, it gets tedious, I know. We did it! Okay, so we now have a Guard Armor, Blue Rhapsodies, and Red Nocturnes. Okay, that's not so bad, especially since I can just basically pile on the pain with this. Yeah, the Guard Armor was the first, next to Dark Side was one of the earliest bosses in this game. Of course, we take it down pretty easily since back then I was so low leveled I didn't know what the hell to do. Not to mention, I got lost trying to get my way to travel. Yeah, I like to take my time leveling up and stuff because I really want to get better and stronger in this game. But I sometimes I take way too long, and that can be a really big problem, especially for me. Anyway, this last one is a real pain. Come on, die already! Is that it? Thank goodness. We did it! Okay, so now we have a black fungus and four green raccoons. Priority number one is take down the green raccoons. The Black Fungus is a deadly threat on itself, and if you damage it, he'll give you poison status. Of course, if you're higher level, he can be taken down. And I guess this fight's actually pretty short. Short enough after I say this sentence, that is. Okay, so we have Red Nocturnes, Yellow Operas, and spider bots. Yeah, Spider-Man ripoff, but what do you expect? Anyway, as July comes to an end, August is coming, so... Truth is, I didn't really do much in July. I'm too focused with a lot of other things. I hardly ever do videos from time to time because I don't want to overload you guys with so many videos. I really don't. I'm trying to set up an uploading schedule on how much I should upload per day because with YouTube changing every day, it really makes my insides puke. Believe me, I'll explain all about it later. That's the power of the Keyblade! Alright, so we have a Stealth Sneak, Blue Rhapsodies, and Green Requiems. Alright, I guess that's alright. Just gotta focus on these guys first. Since the Green Requiems can heal your enemies, and that can be problematic. Especially due to the fact that, well, you're up against a Stealth Sneak. And it just showed its true form. How funny, because Stealth Sneaks are like chameleons. They can camouflage themselves, they can disguise themselves in different colors. And that's the best thing about them. They're like really interesting designs. Yeah, the designs are really cool. It's like a, how do I put this? It's like a lizard. Or a chameleon if you put it that way. And he heals up. Why the hell you did that? Now you make the fight harder for me. Oh, great. Thank you, Donald. I was gonna die for sure. And if I did that, I would've raged. So the Sonic is gonna do me wonders. Yeah. Yeah, I always like to spend a lot of time attacking, not realizing what the heck I'm doing. Of course, this fight's nearly over anyway, so I doubt it would matter. Yeah, it is over. 99 Stealth Snake. At least I don't have to deal with you anymore.
kind of cool. It's <laughs> not bad, huh? Okay, so we have a wizard, red nocturne, yellow operas, and blue rhapsodies. I'm just gonna call them red, yellow, and blues because trying to say their full name is really freaking tedious. Believe me, it is. Anyway, uh, before I say anything else, I want to say that me and my a few friends of mine have started like a collab stream network. It's called how do I put this? Sky Art Gamers. Sky Art Gamers is basically me and a few friends streaming whatever we feel like, whether it's classic games, nostalgic games, and so on and so on. Yeah, I may plan a stream sometime, but I only can do that if my internet doesn't fuck up on me. Okay, so we have three wizards and six shadows. Not a pretty tough fight, but you gotta focus on the wizards first. The wizards are the more deadlier of opponents, especially considering the fact that they can teleport out, they can basically defend themselves, and to make matters worse, they're a pain in the ass to deal with. Of course, they're not that hard. Especially since they can use different magic spells, such as dark magic, ice magic, fire magic, thunder magic, all kinds of magic. But you get what I mean. Believe me, these wizards are a pain in the ass, and I want them taken down for good. And they're taken down. All that remains is a shadow, though it really sucks that you don't take on Neo shadows. You don't fight... That's until the second game, but I'll explain that. Okay, we got an Angel Star and four wizards. Not really that hard, but I want to explain about the Angel Star first. The Angel Star is an interesting Heartless because basically he's one of few Heartless that can actually defend. Of course, Ragnarok! So much for that. Ragnarok really helps, especially when you take on Aerial Wizards. The damage output from Ragnarok is huge. And Wizard setting off his invincibility state when it does Thunder Magic. When it does that, that means it's invincible. And here we go again, again and again. This gets really, really, really tedious. And he's done. Oh great, looks like we have another boss again. Let's see, who do we deal with this time? Ah, oh, fuck. The Cerberus again? Last I checked, you nearly got my ass- I nearly had my ass handed me by this little four, by this three dog three legged freak. Especially since its different attacks make the fight a lot harder. Especially since it's now I have to now do the reflect game since it's going to be throwing fireballs at me. Not that bad, but basically if you deflect their attack fireball and you get tech points. Which no, I'm more for up close and personal type of fighting. Oh great, dark wreck attack. Of course you can just glide and evade it completely, but my real suggestion since in the Hercules portion of Olympus Coliseum, you just basically like, how do I put this in the right words? Just dodge. Yeah. If you noticed, I've been fibbing a lot of my commentary. I'm really trying hard. I'm not like some of the more better YouTubers who can do it no problem. I have a really hard time with it because I get really, really nervous. I get nervous. I fib a lot. And to make matters worse, I have a tendency to repeat things more than once. But that's basically how I always have been. I always have been this way for like years. And it gets really difficult. Yeah, like I said, I'm trying my best, I'm hoping to improve as a commentator, but for now, this is all I can do. I want to get better, so if anyone has any commentating advice, just let me know. I want to improve. I want to improve so that way I can make people happy with what I do. Of course, that's not going to matter this much when Cerberus is the only thing that stands between you and getting your way further. And it does another helping of the Dark Breath attack, which sucks. And I lost my Aroga, which sucks even more. Yeah. And now it's ready to sink our fangs into my friends. I can't let that happen. And of course, the flag. Yeah. All I'm trying to say is that basically, I want to get better at it, but I have a tendency to get nervous. If push comes to shove, I may have to do post-commentary, because post-commentary is the only thing I can be good at. Not to mention, having to deal with a bunch of other issues will make it a little harder, even for me. And I gotta do something about this. And Ragnarok! At least Ragnarok does a job. So if I really wanted to, I could just do strike. Yeah, strike raid works because not only you're in you're invincible basically for most of the attacks. Most of the attacks start up, you have like a load of invincibility friends. 
Basically, you're invincible from like mo throughout the entire move. You're completely invincible. And he's getting ready to do his dark breath attack. My aforementioned advice, like I said, remains the same. Basically, you can either glide or do dark, or basically dodge roll. Dodge roll is a much better option because you're basically invincible for most of the fight. And he's about to get taken down. Great. Gonna watch out. Yeah, I'm using Divine Rose and not Oblivion. Oblivion would have been better, but it really wouldn't help me in the long run. And I get to. Why the heck did I fail on that? Failed on that. Okay, let's try this. Yeah, I gotta get a rogue. Uh oh, shockwave! Yeah, the shockwave's a pain in the ass to deal with. Fortunately, if you jump before he actually does the impact, you won't get harmed, which is pretty simple. And it looks like he's getting ready to use his other attack. Uh oh. Yeah, strike raid for the win. Of course, it wouldn't matter anyway since I always make my marks every single time. Looks like he's near the end of the line. Of course, Dark Breath attack. Not again. Yeah, it sucks, but what can you do? Thanks, Goofy. A lifesaver to the end. Yeah, the, the Cerberus is not that hard to deal with, but you gotta make sure your timing is important or you're screwed. And I can't believe I failed on that. And my friends are in trouble. Yeah. Goofy has a lot more health than the other play uh, the other than the other allies, like Donald and myself. But he's not that hard. Nice. Goofy, Donald saved me when I least needed. Yeah. And he's getting ready to do his shockwave attack. And that's going to be bad. And he's gonna do it right about now. Like that. And of course he's not that hard to deal with. So much for that. Goofy levels up, which is a good thing. Yeah, and now Thundara has been upgraded to Thundaga. Yay. However, we're about to reach the halfway point soon, and things are going to get a lot harder. Believe me. Now we have air soldiers and air pirates, and I believe it's going to be a pirate showdown. More like aerial showdown, since most of the enemies you'll be fighting here are basically air-based, which means they can go to the air and strike you when you suspect them. If you have a Roga, you can basically block their attacks and counter when they're open. So basically, it's not that hard of a fight. Though I do have to say, Aroga does help, but it only helps in rare occasions, which sucks. Okay, so now we have six search ghosts. Yeah, at least they're not zombie ghosts. If you don't believe me, just look up zombie ghosts and you'll see what I mean. Yeah, it's ridiculously stupid. Anyway, I'm just taking out these zombies, but search goes. Sorry, I fib again. Like I said, I'm not used to commentating because I fib, I get nervous, and I have a tendency to blat out whatever comes to mind. I'm going to need a lot more practice to this because I want to get better, I want to do whatever I can, and not to mention, I want to keep doing what I love to do best, which is making videos. What else? Okay, so we have a gauntlets and five gargoyles. Hmm, how do I deal with something like this? Oh yeah, start the fight off with a roga and then focus on the gauntlets first. The gauntlets aren't that threatening, but if you let them go as they are, they can be a really deadly threat. And thank God Donald learned Lucky Strike. Now I can hopefully try to get my hands on the Defender Shield and the Wizard Staff. Where is it? There you go. Bye bye. I don't have to deal with you anytime soon. Oh wait. Nothing to it. A shadow storm. This is going to be the first of many battles where you have to deal with stuff like this. It starts off as one, right? Well, guess what? As you progress, you have to deal with more. One, one shadow, then three, then five, then nine. It's ridiculous. But if you know what you're doing, you'll pretty much be fine. Of course, this will help you down MP this way because every time you hit enemies, you get your MP boost, which is a good thing. And is that it? No, there's still one. And I see how many? Twelve. Twelve. So, how do I deal with this sort of thing? Simple. You Sonic. My Sonic blading, they're not that tough. Ah, lame.
Okay, so now we hit the halfway point. Avengers? Sorry, but these Avengers are not like the real ones. The real Avengers actually kick more ass than these Heartless. Not to mention, they're not that much of a threat. Anyway, you gotta take them down, eff take them down effortlessly. You gotta focus on your attacks. And I guess that's it. All that remains is that slow. And bye bye We did it! Okay, now we have to deal with the opposite armor and a squad of dark balls. The opposite armor is basically like the improvement of the guardian armor. Basically, guardian armor in reverse. Of course, it's not that hard considering you have to deal with six other enemies, but the whole purpose is that you need to focus more on the opposite armor itself. Like I explained in this boss fight, it comprises of five parts, which are two arms, two legs, and a head, like the guard armor. However, unlike the guard armor, the opposite armor flips things around with a new set of attacks that makes it a lot more threatening. And make sure you reload Eroga every time it runs out. Believe me, you'll, you'll find that it's going to be a lot more rewarding. Just one. There, just one more Dark Wall and we can focus on the opposite. I just hope Donald and Goofy don't get killed. Oh, wait. Now is at the part where it's about to deflect attacks. Fortunately, not that tough. Yeah, you can basically ignore it and just focus on the opposite armor, or you can. Son of a bitch! Want some of this? Take that. Did we get him? No, not yet. And brings out Thundega. Eh, not so hard. Now we have two gargoyles, three air soldiers, and two air pirates. We got air enemies all over the place. Air enemies all over. Yeah, and regarding this issue, I'm going to finish Kingdom Hearts eventually. Don't worry, I still have some things I have to take care of. Such as, for example, having to take care of the two hidden bosses, Kurt Ziza and the Phantom. I saw videos of them, like, having to take care of Kurt Ziza, and yes, I get Air Combo Plus. Nice. <laughs> Okay, so we have three wyverns, two search goats, and two white knights. White knights? I think it's a ploy on white knights. And you know how white knights are, right? Not as, like, they're really tough, but you get the idea. Especially since later on in other games I'll be tackling some more tougher enemies. For example, the nobodies in Kingdom Hearts 2. Slight spoiler, but I doubt it would matter since everybody knows this game by now. Anyway, come on, what the? Come on, you dumb wyvern. You know what? Screw you, force! No, it didn't work. Son of a bitch. I gotta make sure to take down this one. Come on, stop moving around. Thank you. All that remains is that search ghost. Oh well, so much for this. Now we have a battleship, a wyv two wyverns, and four dark balls. The battleships are more interesting enemies because instead of having to deal like one set, you could like deal with like break it down into different parts. And for every part you destroy, you get tech points. It really is helpful, especially when you need all the extra experience. Especially since they have a lot of HP. You basically, if you use like a Gravir on it, you can shut them down. Like strip it of most of its other attacks. But the Dark Balls are the most annoying. Almost as annoying as Neo Shadow in the Chain of Memory. Yeah, you don't... I did. Fortunately, Goofy's gonna make up for that. Come on. There you go. Come on. There. There you go. And Wyvern coming down. Fortunately, I got out of the way, so... You don't suffer that much damage. Goofy! Well. Nothing to it! Okay, now we have Cloud, Strife, and... Wall Leonhardt. Yeah, I say them by their full names. And great. You interrupt my arrow. You're mine now. You're full. I'm gonna focus on you first, Leon. You're the bigger threat. There you go. Son egg lay. Works every time. Though it doesn't help me this much. 
Come on. Yeah, he's doing these jumping attacks to put him in the stun state. Oh, crap. Now he's gonna get harder. If I didn't know any better, he's really tacking on the heavy ones. Though. Yeah, and thanks to Goofy's MP gift, I actually get a lot more MP this time. Oh, come on, this is ridiculous. Yeah, especially since they give you plenty of breathing room. And I fit. Of course, his thing is only temporary. Uh oh. Nice. And he's down to his last chunk of health. No. And of course, Sonic play for the win. Though I know for certain most of my comrades have like second chance. Which you're gonna need in a long time. And of course with Sonic Blade, basically you put them in a stun state. It's gonna really help you in the long run. Yeah. And crap. Oh, what am I saying? Yeah, take that. Leon can deal with... You are not only Goofy can deal with Leon. Of course, that takes care of you. Yeah, add it for good measure. Come on. Yeah, like that. And I do a combo, which I fit badly. Come on, Cloud, is that all? Oh, great. Come on. Yeah, that's right. And I use Ars Arcanum for good measure. Of course, later on, he's gonna get tougher. Yeah. That's when things get a little harder. Come on. Come on. Yeah, like that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, no! Now he preps up his Omni Slash. If you haven't seen the last boss fight, which was like Olympus Coliseum where he fought him again, this is what happens. He's gonna be flying around, and basically your job is to basically deal, like, not attack him at all and just dodge the attack. And he's in a stun state. Yeah, blocking, blocking, countering. You get the point. And you are done. I don't blame you, Cloud. You have to keep going. For your sake. And we obtain Lionheart. Ironically, that's the name of Squall's ultimate weapon in Final Fantasy VIII. Okay, what's with the change in setting? Now we have three large bodies and two white knights. The best strategy for dealing the large bodies gravity. Gravity is your best bet because you can cut their hit points down to half. Come on. Come on. Ah, oh, nuts. Can't believe I did. At least I didn't fib here. Yeah, at least with the air combo plus, which I will put eventually later on, it'll extend my air combos. Which I really need an extension at this point. Yeah, and the guard works. And I don't have to deal with you anytime soon. Now we have three fat bandits and four red nocturnes. Now what's the same strategy as before? Gravity. Gravity's your best bet. Of course it's not gonna work once you have to deal with all of them. And yeah, it works every time. One, two, come on. You gotta be serious? Okay, that's it. I'm just gonna Sonic play. Like this and that. Take this, you just have to piece of crap. Come on. Ah, forget it. Heal! Okay, so we have two angel stars, two wyverns, and two large bodies. This is going to get a doozy. Especially with the angel stars, since they can block basically every attack. They can block and boost their defenses, but they're not as effective. The most main focus you should concentrate on are the large bodies. Since the large bodies, they block all funnel attacks, but they're weak in the rear. Basically, you need to time your strikes, and then you get them. There you go. Of course, you can let a Roga do the heavy artillery for you, and you can dish damage in the long run. And of course, I healed up, and I get an MP. That was pretty lame.
Okay, now we have Dark Storm. Anytime you see Storm on it, be prepared for a very long fight. Now we face one Dark Ball, but don't let that fool you because you're going to be seeing a lot more. Let's see, we have one and now we move on to three. I gotta I swear, more Dark Balls is more trouble, especially when you have to deal with a lot more enemies. It's like a death match in a Final Fantasy game. You take on a certain amount of enemies, they're like well programmed and you're screwed basically. At least in the later versions, you have like attacks that can take out all enemies. And that's a really helpful in the long run, believe me. Anyway, what else? Let's see, how many of these? Twelve? Oh shit. Twelve Dark Balls? This is really bad news, believe me. Of course, the block and counter technique works best. You smash me, your attacks fail, and you hit counter. That means you get more MP this way, and it really helps a lot. It looks like Donald and Goofy aren't doing so well. Believe me, there's gonna be some more tougher opponents in Wong later on. Especially the dark sides. Very deadly. Okay, so we have a Wyvern, Air Pirate, Air Soldier, Gargoyle, and Surge Ghost. An Air Brigade, if I do say so myself. Wait, that's what it said in the actual description before the fight. Basically, just focus on taking them down one by one. You don't want to have to take them on all at once. You gotta plan your strategy accordingly. Especially when you're up against, like, tougher enemies. You'll see later on when I tackle some of the later ones. Is that it? Wow. Now we have two fat bandits, an invisible, and a wizard. What you see here is an invisible. And invisibles are really tough enemies. Really tough enemies because they can vanish and basically reappear when you least expect it. Not to mention, they have a high amount of hit points. Which means it'll take you a while before you can take them down. But you also need to be careful because they have a sword and they have a like, wide range with their sword attacks. Yeah, come on. Thank you. Is that it? Oh, oh yeah, the wizard. Wait, what? Oh yeah, we have one more! Come on! Come on, stop moving around! Thank you! Sheesh! Yahoo! Now we have heavy warriors. Two fat bandits, a defender, and a large body. Best advice for you, gravity. Gravity will really help you out in the long run. Especially since you fly a lot and you can deal a lot of damage this way. And it can make the fight ridiculously short. And of course, if you have Aroga with you, you can block most of their attacks with little or little effort. Just make sure you don't get yourself overwhelmed. Yeah, and at this point, they're really packing on the heat with this. Of course, with the guard, not so Now we have three defenders. A lot of defenders, little time. And I get gravity kicked in and it attacks a lot of damage. Gravity, especially Gravira and Gravigo, are very useful to have. And not to mention they pack major damage, making fights like this one very short. Kudos. Now we have three invisibles and two angel stars. Focus on the invisibles first because the angel stars you can deal with later. Just make sure you don't get overwhelmed when there are like too many of them at once. And their variety of attacks can make things a little more difficult for you. Of course, if you time it rightly, you'll be fine. Just make sure you don't get killed. Two, three, four, five. Oh wait, I've already deflected. Uh oh. Ah, crap. Double crap. This is bad. Gotta keep dodge rolling. Yes. Healed up. Defense. Gotta keep moving. And healing. Yeah, man, this is a really tough fight. And Goofy leveled up defense-wise, which is a good thing. Yeah, 
<laughs> yeah, that's a bit funny. Wait. Much better. Oh, wait, I forgot. He has second win. Come on. There you go. Gotta be ready. Yo, hey, how you doing, everybody? <laughs> yeah. Got a minute? Hades, Lord of the Dead. Nice to see you. Hey, guess what? I got a place for you. Okay, so it comes to this. Then I deal with this stupid son of a bitch. Hades. Hades isn't going to be your toughest opponent yet, believe me. And the best thing about it, you start on full health, which is pretty appropriate. Uh-oh, he's packing on the heat. Oh, yeah? Blizzard. Blizzard can shut down his attack, no problem. Oh, no. This one's going to be a real dude. When you reach just, just use dodge rolls. Or you can basically be like an idiot and dodge roll. But don't dodge roll too much or you'll be in trouble. Ow. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Reload a Roga. Come on, Hades. Want a piece of this? Take that. Ow. Oh, you want a piece of this? Ragnarok. Come on. Yes, thank you. Okay, now he's not he's getting a little harder, but you gotta watch out when he doesn't attack. Wizard attacks are your best friend here. Because you can shut down some Oh no, not again. You gotta time your dodge roll just right and you won't be able to go through it unscathed. Like that. Yeah, I'm having fun alright. Fun of kicking your ass. Come on. Come on. Come on, one piece of this, let's go. Yeah. Son of a bitch, you're gonna pay for that. Ragnarok! Yeah, this guy's a real pain in the ass. Thank you. Damn, he's a real pain. Especially since the fact of the matter is, you can kick your ass. And that's something I don't like. Aw, oh, you'll pay for that. And... Kagnarok! Yeah, we need the heavy pain. Come on! Oh, can eat this! Come on! Ah, oh, come on! You interrupted my Ragnarok for this shit? Let's do this! Strike rate works, not to mention you're completely invincible during the entire attack. Very useful. Oh, great. Okay, Blizzega! Oh no, not again. Okay, I was prepared. Ow. Yeah, you gotta time your dodge roll just as the body's about to show. Come on. There, take that! Ragnarok! Okay, that was not as effective, but it'll have to Dumbass. Ragnarok. Oh no. Uh oh. Double uh oh. Triple. Oh nice. That saved me a long run. Oh, you're not warmed up? How about some strike rate? Will that work? Of course, with strike rate, you're completely invincible. Yeah, you're completely invincible when you use strike rate. Basically, you can just absorb anything and everything. Any second they eat. Pack this in! Of course, you could just use strike rate to be completely invincible on these attacks. But that works too. And make sure you constantly reload a Roga every time. And he's gonna be in his invincible state again. Of course, you just time him right and you'll He's winding down, so he's not that hard. Oh yeah, eat this. Yeah, works every time. And of course, he's near the end. Thank you, Wind. Warmed up for this. Oh, pathetic. Okay, that's it. Eat Blizzard. Oh no, not again. 
Now it's gonna get harder. Of course, not that hard. Like that. Hey, you having fun yet? Donald! Gotta heal them up fast. Yeah, yeah take this, you son of a bitch. Take that. And he Ragnarok! Ragnarok! Uh oh. Now he's toughing up. Dead. Come on! You gotta be kidding me! Oh my god. Why? Why me? This is bullshit. Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Anyway, this is only the first part. I'm gonna try again starting at number 20. Thanks for watching. See you next time.